A double dose of history last night in Chicago. That city elected a black woman gay mayor, Lori Lightfoot, beat the establishment, winning in a landslide victory. Out there tonight, a lot of little girls and boys are watching. They're watching us. And they're seeing the beginning of something, well, a little bit different. The new mayor-elect of Chicago, Lori Lightfoot, joins me now for her first national interview. Congratulations, mayor-elect. You didn't just win. You won huge. This was a blowout. Were you expecting this? Well, we were uh, optimistic that we would have a fairly comfortable margin, but I don't think anybody could have predicted the landslide victory that we got. And we talk about firsts. You had a double dose of firsts. You're the first black woman to be elected mayor uh, of Chicago, and you will be the first gay mayor of Chicago. Has that, yes. has that reality set in? What does that mean to you? Well, you know, this is something obviously that we've been talking about and the historic nature of the election for some time. But I think the most historic thing was beating the old entrenched Chicago machine and getting such a resounding mandate for change. Um, that gives me incredible joy and makes me feel very humble. Now, I don't know if anyone's told you this, but we all have the sense that being mayor of Chicago has got to be one of the hardest jobs uh, in the country. It's a big city, um, a, a lot of diverse mm -hmm. interests there. And of course, there are the challenges facing the trust deficit that exists between law enforcement yes. and the community that it <clears throat> protects. You've served on, on two, at least two, police boards here. What will you do to restore that trust? Well, I think you have to lead by example and keep pushing uh, the police department to extend itself to the residents of the city. I think the burden really falls upon them. But I think that also means that we've got to support and give better training to our police officers to help them understand how to bridge that divide uh, better. And we've got lots of different ways in which we can do it. We'll certainly be borrowing from other cities like New York. Um, but I feel confident that we're going to be able to continue to make progress. Um, really, our children's lives depend upon it. We've all seen the superintendent, Eddie Johnson, in regards to the Jesse Smollett case. Again, that's made national headlines. Yeah. Will he stay on the job? Well, what I've said is, look, we, we have a lot of challenges to face, and he's very well aware of it. We're going to be heading soon into the summer violence season. After that's over, we'll evaluate at that point, but I'm going to be working closely with the superintendent mm -hmm. and his executive team to make sure that we keep our neighborhood safe. So no guarantees past the summer. Uh, again, a national issue here. The outgoing mayor, Rahm Emanuel, in, in 2017, and this was surrounding the DACA issue, he declared Chicago to be a Trump-free zone. In other mm -hmm. words, we're going to do our own thing. You know, we're not going to ask the federal government mm -hmm. for help anymore. We're going to do our own thing uh, and, and let the chips fall where they may. In the Lightfoot administration, will Chicago be a Trump-free zone? Well, look, we've got to do everything we can to speak to and protect our immigrant uh, communities. I spoke at length about that last night. But I also want to make sure that the as city of Chicago gets its fair share of federal tax dollars. So we're going to stand strong and speak our values, and we're going to keep pushing uh, back against hate. But I'm also going to make sure that we are treated fairly by the federal government. And that starts with making sure that we build good, strong relationships with our congressional delegation and our two senators um, and uh, building bridges where we can. So I, and, and I, I want to go back to the historical nature of this election. Can you imagine uh, being a kid growing up and, and seeing someone like you on stage, like you were last night, declaring victory in the mayor's race uh, uh, in Chicago. What would it have meant to a 12-year-old Lori Lightfoot? <laughs> well, it would have been a remarkable thing, and I would have been, been something I'd talked about with my parents and my classmates. And I hope our children are watching. And I want to make sure that I am the leader um, that respects the fact that kids all over the city and hopefully all over the, the country um, really understand that they can do anything that they want to do, that they set their minds to do, as long as they've got good, strong uh, support from adults and love to support them. Mayor-elect Lori Lightfoot, congratulations on your win. Uh, get some sleep you. while you can. It's a tough job. <laughs> Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.